The other important building that's here is, you see that uh, building over there with the heads above the bay window? See? Yeah? This was the Phrenological Museum. And have you heard of phrenology? You know, this thing about feeling bumps on the head. Um, phrenology, you know, the, the, the major, it was founded by uh, two uh, German uh, thinkers, Gaul and Spurzheim, but the major uh, British representative of phrenology lived here in Edinburgh, George Coombe, uh, and that was his uh, phrenological museum. So he had various uh, death masks and uh, skulls and things like this uh, of famous people or not so famous people. Uh, and indeed, if you go to the National Portrait Gallery now and go into the library, which I think is on the first floor or is it the second floor? Anyway, you'll find the library in the um, uh, National Portrait Gallery. You can see some of uh, George Coombe's death, death masks in there, including one of himself, which obviously he didn't take himself, uh, and of his brother. Uh, um, anyway, so uh, that was the Phrenological Museum. And George Coombe, although now phrenology is regarded as a um, pseudoscience, you know, uh, it was important because it was the first science that said, well, A, that the brain was the organ of the mind, and B, that it was localised, so different aspects of, you know, your mental life were compartmentalised in different parts of the brain. Uh, and so um, George Coombe was very uh, keen on that. And uh, I'm glad to say that the psychology department here have, have got a Coombe room in the uh, psychology building. And indeed there is, uh, or at least there was, I mean, George Coombe left some money uh, in his will. And the first um, lecturer in psychology at Edinburgh University was funded by uh, George Coombe and as far as I know that's still going, you know, the George Coombe lecturer in, um, in psychology.